Hi, everyone, and welcome back to your mental health hack quick drop in. So today I wanted to share something that really can be a game changer. I know I've said that about a lot of these tools and insights. And truly, I mean, this is 31 days of throughout May for Mental Health Awareness Month of tools and insights from myself and my guest speakers to really help you start shifting things. And remember, you only need one thing. It's just one tweak, just one adjustment is all that it takes sometimes to start the ball rolling, to become a catalyst for change, a catalyst for transformation, a catalyst to bring in and invite more ease and more joy into your life and living. And today's one is really one that I encourage a lot of the audience when I do my keynote talks is go to gratitude. So when something comes up in your world, an argument, a conflict, a challenge, it's so easy to be caught up in the story. You know, our creative minds are um, phenomenal things and they can create stories in an instant of the drama and the trauma. But as soon as you start feeling that contraction, go to gratitude immediately. I was at a beautiful event earlier and we were asked to write down three things that we're grateful for. I struggled. And not because I couldn't think of three, because I had so many things that I was grateful for. So the pressure was like, which three can I fit on this little um, heart? So I wrote down... Um, planet and this beautiful earth that we live on because truly no I said our beautiful earth and nature um because truly I get nourished in nature all the time so I'm so looking forward to being out in nature more and hiking and just spending time hugging more trees if you know me you know that I'm a tree hugger literally <laughs> not just figuratively literally so it was that the second one was honoring relationships which you would have heard in my previous talk as well uh, my previous video as well and I mentioned that all the time and then the third one was infinite possibilities because just the energy around infinite possibilities knowing and knowing and this is where once you tap into your knowing versus in your mind knowing that there are infinite possibilities available to you even if you don't believe it right now because your mind is telling you the complete opposite it's telling you that that's impossible you were born in a limited world your upbringing was limited you don't have much to offer there's not much going for you da, 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 da. all those fun stories that we tell ourselves that keep us limited and keep perpetuating that story which encourages that pattern and solidifies us even more in staying in that space versus if you started tapping more into gratitude. Yes, we can look around and say the usuals, like I'm so grateful for my girls that are snoring next to me right now. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> and I'm so grateful for my beautiful home and I'm grateful for my body. When last did you acknowledge your beautiful body that wakes up with you every single day that has been there for you a long every single step of the way, it doesn't matter how you've treated your body. When I came to that realization, oh, I was horrid to my body. The pressure I used to put on her, if she got injured, I didn't have patience. I was short-tempered with her. I used to lose my, and get frustrated. I'm like, why aren't you better yet? Why did you get sick again? Why did you hurt yourself? Um, so gratitude for my body. I wake up every morning. Thank you, body. Thank you for being here. Thank you for waking up with me. How much fun are we going to have today? Gratitude for your community, your tribe, and what else? So I encourage my clients to go beyond five because it's usually easy coming up with the first three or four, but go beyond five every single day. Try get at least five and different. And there might be some days we're like, look, I'm really grateful for whatever it is. And you repeat it a few times. That's okay. But expand your gratitude muscle. Because the more you start expanding it, that's what you're going to start seeing and focusing on. And the more you focus and see that, the more you're going to attract that into your life, which is at the basic manifestation, right? So 
go to gratitude all the time. When you're when something's coming up, a negative, heavy energy that's come up in your life, and by energy it doesn't have to be word, it can be a challenge, an obstacle, an argument, whatever that is. When you start experiencing that and you go into the story of it and the frustration of it, and you start hanging onto those negative emotions, go to gratitude immediately. And if you need to write these tools and tips on post-it notes and stick them against your laptop or on the wall or on your steering wheel, please do. I've done that for years and they really help because if something is new to you, it's going to take a lot of practice and repetition and you can't expect yourself. It's like going to, I'm trying to think of something. It's like trying to do ballet, men and women. You can't go and do a split up here on your first time or 10th time or probably 75th time which infuriates me because all I want to do is do the splits now. But that's not going to happen. You've got to practice it every single day. And if there's a day that you don't, you need to be gentle with yourself and have grace for yourself and not berate yourself for not doing it. And then you try again. And it's the same with gratitude. You'll forget many times. I forget. But as soon as I remember, as soon as I've got the awareness and what helped me at first was literally write it on post-it notes, you start practicing and playing that more and more. And you start inviting those people into your life and living. You start inviting other experiences into your life and living because you're no longer focusing on what you do not want. You're no longer fo focusing on what doesn't serve you. Instead, you're shifting your brain. You're shifting your mind. You're shifting your focus and your attention. Where, in, where focus goes, energy flows. We know that, you know, Dr. Joe Dispenza always talks about um, neurons that fire together that wire together, that fire together, wire together. So if we're activating and changing the way our minds are working, what we're paying attention to, what we're focusing on, those neural pathways start to change. And that's when you no longer need the post-it. So in the meantime, use the post-its. Write with a semi-permanent marker or whiteboard marker on your mirror. I did that and I used a permanent marker by mistake on one of them. Um, but do whatever you need to do to support you, to remind you to go to gratitude. And I know these tools, they sound so simple. They sound so simple. And you might think because they sound so simple, you want something that sounds like it's more of a breakthrough. And yes, we've got those tools. We've got those guests coming. But these easy bite-sized tools, you can do. So don't overlook them. Please don't overlook them. Don't take them for granted that there has to be something that there has to be something bigger. Go to gratitude. If you're not in the habit of writing a gratitude journal and you think it will be fun, then try it out. If you miss a few days, that's okay. At least you've been aware of it one more day than before. And if you don't, you know, you can have notes on your phone. Any time of day, you quickly go and put a note in. Oh, this happened. I'm so grateful for this. Build up your gratitude list. It doesn't matter if you repeat it. Build it up. That's you telling yourself telling your mind, telling the universe, telling people around you that this is what you are choosing. You are no, no longer choosing what doesn't work for you and serve you. You are now choosing a different way of being. So I hope that this was helpful in its purest form and simplicity. And that's often where the magic is. So share this with a friend. I'd love you to subscribe and leave a comment below. Um, it would really be great for me to see what resonates with you. Um, as well that I know that things are resonating with you and what you want more of. So thank you so much for being here. Really looking to sharing the next mental health hack. Have a good evening. Have a good morning. Have a good day.